What's happening, YouTube? Calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Such an emotional roller coaster when you got this CPTSD bullshit, right? Most people don't understand. They don't get it because they don't suffer, right? And unfortunately for me, it's um, very real. And I didn't understand what was taking place until recently, until I discovered what was wrong with me, you know? As a matter of fact, the last words my kid said to me was, I'll never speak to you again until you get psych psychiatric help. <laughs> and she was right, you know, but I can't go to a shrink after what my mom went through, right? When your mother tells you never to sign the release papers to allow them to do electrical shock to her brain, it leaves an indelible mark on your soul. Trust me. So going to a shrink wasn't an option and taking a pill is not an option. Mom took a lot of pills. She told me when I was little, and this was long before they had childproof caps, do not ever touch my medicine, it will kill you. I never forgot that, right? They put mom on tranquilizers, Thorazine, lithium, and a long list of other shit that turned her into a zombie. Mom got up to 300 pounds at about 5'4", right? She's a big lady. Even that fucked with me, right? I'd be embarrassed to be seen with her in public, right? Like, oh, there's John with his fat mom. Anyway, there's a lot of reasons I got PTSD, trust me. And uh, recently, my recent behavior was a cascade effect, right? It was one little thing, another little thing, another little thing, and snafu -y, right? And because I put it all out, you get to see the good, the bad, the ugly. And unfortunately for me, living in Wisconsin, this fucked up <laughs> conservative ass state, no 420, man. And that was my only relief, right? I'd smoke a little and it'd be like, oh, okay, I could relax. It wouldn't take away the anger, but I could relax, right? Which would slowly bring me down. Hi, mama doggy. Lay down, baby. Let me finish, okay? I'll be with you in a second. Go lay down. I know she don't need to go because I made sure to get them out late last night. Lay down, mine. So anyway, learning about this complex PTSD and finding my own ways to rein it in, right? And like I said, without the 420, I, I don't have a way to calm myself when I get like that. It's a bitch. It's a fucking bitch. But what are you going to do? I try to get better with it, right? With handling it and, and my behavior. But man, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's just so, <laughs> and it goes mama for the water. It's just so overwhelming. And so if you got somebody in your life, I don't care if it's a coworker or a family member, whatever, try to be understanding when they're losing their shit. You don't know what lies beneath, right? I got a lot of reasons to be angry. And unfortunately, it all falls on me to rein it in. And with nothing more than my two dogs to rein it in, sometimes it's not enough, right? I get to feeling guilty for sure when I lose my shit and it affects my doggies, man, just like you with your kids, right? You lose your shit with the old man or the old lady in front of your kids. You know what that does to them, do you? You're looking at it. You will break them. You got to put your babies first, always and forever, right? You cannot break them the way you got broken. You feel me? 
Somebody has to break the cycle. I fucked it up, right? My kid's as angry as I am, no doubt. Between me and her mom, fuck. I get it. I get it. Same thing with my brother, right? <laughs> okay. I got mama dog eyeballing me, so I guess maybe she needs to break one off. She's been a little backed up. Come here, baby. My, my. Come here. Let me get you. Come here. Let me get you on the video for everybody right quick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, <laughs> my baby. This is the old dog. And thank you guys for going back and finding Kimba's old videos, right? That's 2012. This is the mama, right? So mama goes back to probably 2010, 09, 08. I don't really know. Thank you, Jamie. Best I can figure. Mine's 15, 14, 15. She could even be 16 for all I know, but... All right, <laughs> enough said. She's got to go potty, so I'm going to go get her out. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate it very much. Don't know what I'd do without you guys. So go have a beautiful day. Much love and respect for me and the girls. You know how we do. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the train wrecks out there. Do not let your children hear my scary shit, please, right? Don't let them overhear you fight. Don't let them overhear me on the gadget, please. All right, and we'll talk soon.